We're in a known lithium district where discoveries are happening all around us. So my goal with the district scale project we have at ACDC is to discover a major lithium discovery in James Bay. Hertz Lithium Inc. is a client and sponsor of PinnacleDigest.com. Please read the full disclosure at the end of this video. In the wake of droughts and unpredictable weather, governments across much of the world are aiming to fast-track energy policy that are focused on cleaner, more sustainable options. This generational shift in policy created a surge in demand for lithium, but if demand keeps its pace in the years ahead, without new lithium discoveries and mines coming online, we could be riddled with supply constraints. We're in the early innings of the EV transition, but this year already several industry pros have warned that global supplies of the valuable commodity may not meet electric vehicle demand in the years ahead. As demand for lithium climbs, North America stands at a crossroads. The continent is a major global producer of automobiles, and to secure a sustainable future for the industry, it must also secure a substantial supply of lithium. So, discovering new sources of lithium within the continent, whilst increasing production output, is vital to a cleaner energy future and growing economy. And that's one of the reasons I'm in one of the most remote places I've ever been. Here in rural northern Quebec, a land rich in natural beauty with plenty of untapped mineral wealth, a new chapter in the world of lithium exploration is being written. I'm here in the James Bay region, historically known as a key player in the extraction of various minerals, including gold and copper. Today, however, this region is emerging as having the potential to be a critical player in the global lithium industry. World-class lithium discoveries in recent years and James Bay's vast lithium resources are making it a focal point for speculators who see it as a potential production hub of the future. Although there are no producing lithium mines in the James Bay region as of today, rather quickly it has established itself as a new lithium frontier. With the likes of Albemarle, the top lithium producer in the world, Rio Tinto Exploration Canada, Patriot Battery Metals, and Australia's Alcam having lithium-related investments or projects here. But becoming a mining hub requires more than just mineral wealth. It demands political support. Earlier this year, subject to conditions, Alchem's James Bay project received federal government approval for the construction of a lithium mine. The project is approximately 130 kilometers east of James Bay. With its long mining history, Quebec is known for its vast infrastructure, powering and transporting extracted minerals and its abundant natural resources. And the Quebec government is backing the province's ambition to become a leader in critical and natural mineral production. The southwestern part of the province is home to the first and right now the only large-scale lithium mine in North America. For global lithium supply to meet the projected demand in the years to come, it will take a cohesive effort from miners, governments, bankers, investors, and the reason I'm here today, explorers. I'll be speaking with Cal Malley, CEO of early stage lithium explorer, Hertz Lithium. Never one to shy away from risk as he's been funding and investing in startups for nearly two decades. Hertz Lithium recently signed a deal giving it the right to acquire Canuck Lithium Corp, which owns 100% of the ACDC project, located here in the emerging Hard Rock Lithium District in James Bay. Cal, I've known you a long time. You've been early to spaces in the past, from Cannabix to tech, now James Bay. Where would you say we are in the cycle? James Bay is early in that cycle. It's just now become known as the world-renowned lithium district with Patriot battery metals and their big discovery. And you were an early investor in Patriot? We were. We were very early investors. And along with our investment, we also came to understand what was happening in James Bay very early on. And what is it about James Bay? What factors make it such an ideal location for lithium discoveries? Lithium has become the commodity of our generation. There's lithium exploration worldwide, but a lot of the rest of the world has political instability where you know you don't know month to month what the climate is. Canada is a very politically stable country. James Bay is very well endowed in uh, resources. Now lithium is coming to the forefront. James Bay also has infrastructure, especially hydropower, that is very crucial to extracting lithium. So in respect to Hertz's flagship, the ACDC property, 
Are you seeing some positives already? We have. When we first acquired it, we did a database search from the geological uh, data that the government had. We identified geological formations, including the view contour intrusion, as well as the LAC Corvette intrusion that occur on the ACDC project. Following that, we've done some radiometric and spectral imaging. From that, we've identified 135 pegmatite bodies that are visible from the air that we're following up on. What stage are things at right now as it stands? James Bay um, exploration on the ground was halted due to the fires that were lingering during the summer. So it just opened up in the last three weeks. We've put together a geological team. They've hit the ground this week. We've got some early results that point to pegmatite bodies that are worthy of immediate exploration. There's three parts to lithium exploration. One is identifying a geological formation on the property. Two is identifying the pegmatite bodies. And the third part is testing those bodies for spudgamine. So we're at the third part. We've done the first two. Now we need to get on the ground and confirm that there's spudgamine and we're excited at the potential. And what does that look like over the next sort of three to six months? Like the budget, the timing? We've had our crew on the ground for two days. The weather's kind of held them up, but they'll be there for the rest of the days that allow before the snow sets in. We hope to collect enough samples, get the assays, and um, hopefully the results will be indicative of uh, drill-worthy targets, which we can plan for during the winter when the freeze up occurs. So what made Hertz want to go after and acquire Canuck Lithium? We want to be an exploration company, but I wanted to be in an area where we had a natural partner if we made a discovery. The ACDC project shares geology on ground that adjoins us that Rio Tinto is exploring. So our thesis is if we find a deposit on a property, we've got a natural partner in Rio Tinto that we can uh, sell the project to. And how close are you to Patriot Battery? We're within 30 kilometers of Patriot Battery's Corvette Discovery. We're about 45 kilometers away from Winsome Resources' Adena Discovery. So we're almost in the middle of the James Bay Lithium Discovery that are happening. Talk to me about Patriot Battery Minerals. There's so much excitement behind, you know, the Corvette property. Albemarle just, you know, put in over 100 million US. Why has that property sort of captured the imagination of lithium investors all over the world? I spoke earlier about political stability, the access to power, but more so what's happening is Corvette is the grades are very significant. And then the tonnage that's being outlined is world-class. Right now, they've reported 109 million tons so far, but they've discovered new discoveries at CV5, which is Corvette 5, which are very rich and closer to surface. And the belief is that the Corvette discovery will be a world-class two to 300 million ton discovery. That's the potential there. Right, so you see it developing as a lithium district, like Red Lake or Hemlo, some of these massive gold mining districts that took over a region. You think there's the potential for that to happen here in James Bay? Definitely, uh, Alex. When Patriot discovered um, their Corvette discovery, the thesis was that the world would unleash on lithium exploration in James Bay. And that was going to happen this summer. The fires prevented that from happening. But in the last four weeks, there have been ground programs and there have been a number of new discoveries that prove up that thesis. And that's what will make James Bay the lithium district that is going to be world renowned. Assuming the exploration continues to go well, when might you have drills on the ground? We're hoping to finish our uh, ground program in the next two weeks and then get assay results. Depending on the assay results, in James Bay, the winter is the preferred time to drill and we hope to be drilling in 2024 winter. Mining's a risky business, especially exploration. What are some things that could potentially go wrong over the next six to 12 months as you continue to develop? For investors, mining is a very high risk, but also a high reward business. If we're successful, the rewards are many times your return. We're being methodical with our exploration programs. We're in a known lithium district where discoveries are happening all around us. We've identified geology and we're working in a methodical way. We're working in phases of exploration and we believe that the likelihood of success is stronger than the likelihood of failure given the research and where we are. When you think about Hertz and the ACDC project, what gets you most excited? What are you most looking forward to? So my goal with the district scale project we have in ACDC is to try to do what Patriot has done is discover a major lithium discovery in James Bay. You guys aren't just focusing on Quebec. You're in Arizona and Brazil. Can you talk about those two projects and how they fit in? 
In Arizona, Alex, we went there because it's close to the end user market and we don't need a large deposit there. It's near surface mineralization. But in Brazil, it's an up and coming pegmatite district and we're early entrants. Just like Patriot was early into James Bay, Hertz is early into the Eastern Brazilian pegmatite belt. And how much ground did you pick up there? We have uh, about 5,000 hectares. Again, Rio Tinto has become our neighbor in Brazil as well. Are you following them or are they following you? I like to say they're following our neighborhood. So there's a tech angle to this story as well. And you guys have partnered with Penn State and it's a hard rock lithium extraction technology. Can you explain what it does? The hard rock lithium uh, from pegmatites is becoming the source for lithium going into the future and a lot of hard rock deposits are being discovered. However, the technology to extract lithium from hard rock hasn't been really worked on. Penn State got a new technology that uh, requires less energy, is more environmentally friendly and we plan to take that to a pilot plant study and we're hoping to announce a partnership with a major mining company on that front soon. And is this a Q1, Q2, 2024 in terms of the pilot testing? We're looking to partner, as I said, with a major mining company. Nothing is uh, definite yet, yeah. uh, but we hope that we'll be into the pilot study early 2024. Uh, with Hertz, we're offering a diversified opportunity with three exploration projects, with a partnership with a world-class university and hopefully a major mining company in the coming months. And we believe that is truly a diversified lithium investment opportunity. Cal, best of luck in James Bay and around the world. All right. Although it's early days for Hertz Lithium, the company's diversity of project locations and the patent pending lithium extraction technology being developed in partnership with Penn State University demonstrate its forward thinking approach. As we wrap up our journey through the untamed landscapes of James Bay, Quebec, and the world of early stage lithium exploration with Hertz Lithium, the globe is standing on the cusp of a significant transition. Global demand for lithium has surged in recent years, driven by the electric vehicle revolution and the broader push towards clean and sustainable energy solutions. It's a transformation that presents challenges, but also potential opportunities for companies both big and small.